Democratic North Texas Congressman Mark Vesey, thank you so much for joining us. You voted to impeach President Trump today. Why? Uh, Jack, I thought it was hugely um, important for the Congress to make this move, and I'll tell you why. When you go back and you look and you've had a chance to absorb what happened last week uh, with the storming of the Capitol, uh, the police officers that were killed and assaulted, um, the desecration of the, of the halls inside a, inside a statuary hall, so much of that was brought on by the, by the president's rhetoric. Uh, and even afterwards, uh, when he could see what was happening, uh, he found it gleeful that people were storming the Capitol and didn't come out and say anything about it, didn't encourage people to go home and say and 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 stop the madness until he was threatened with the 25th and when he finally gave a speech he actually told the people that were there that he loved them uh it's just inexcusable what happened it is it's it's shameful and like a republican uh, lynn cheney uh, liz cheney said of wyoming uh when she said that this is uh there, there's no greater there's no other act of a of a president there's no no president that has violated the constitution the way that this president has, and, and she's telling the truth. It's, 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 it's terrible what, what, what happened and what he did, and it did rise to the level of high crimes and misdemeanors. Uh, and I'm glad that we did, did what he did, and I hope that we finished the job. As you know, members of the Texas congressional delegation voted along party lines today. Your thoughts on that? Uh, again, I, I find it uh, very uh, unfortunate that they voted along party lines. I'm glad that this was the most bipartisan uh, impeachment vote in the history of the United States Congress. Uh, but uh, also, uh, you know, again, upset that, you know, that, that some of our fellow Republicans in the state delegation uh, did not uh, uh, go along. And the reason why I say that is that if we were on the eve of a Republican being sworn uh, and to this highest office of the land, uh, and the and his Democratic predecessor had said that everything that he said, and and Democratic leaning groups and organizations had rushed the Capitol. They would have been voting to impeach, and guess what? I would have I would have been standing along with them had someone said the exact same things uh, that Donald Trump said. Uh, which encourage people to actually lose their, their lives. Uh, it's, it's, it's just unthinkable that the president played such a large role in this uh, and, and, and he needs to be impeached. And uh, the Republicans that we spoke with from North Texas today told us that uh, they opposed uh, the vote to impeach the president because they felt as if those uh, who actually committed the acts of violence were the guilty ones. And they also said that they thought today's proceedings, you know, there were no hearings, et cetera. And they thought that uh, this was just political theater that will only further divide the country. What do you say to that? Um, you know, they are trying to keep their, their, their base happy. Uh, and it's unfortunate again, because there are times where you need to rise above partisan politics and they just refuse to do so. And it's, it's you know, again, it's unfortunate. It's, it's clear that he played a role in what happened. He played a role in, in to leading up to this when he refused to accept the results of the November 3rd election, when he refused to say that he was going to uh, go along with our uh, what we do every time a president loses or his eight years is up. Uh, we have a peaceful exchange of power. Uh, he, he, he incited these people. That's why they showed up with Trump. Uh, paraphernalia and flags and jackets and hats that said MAGA on them. They they were showing up for him. He played a huge role. Anyone that says that he didn't have anything to do with it and it was just the crowd, they are missing what has been said the last four years and more importantly, the lies that were told after he lost November the 3rd. Do you know when the article of impeachment will be sent to the Senate? Have you had a chance to speak to uh, Speaker Pelosi or other leaders as to when that will happen? I, I have not had a chance to, to uh, speak to Speaker Pelosi to see when that's going to happen. Again, that's a, a huge you know, part of the process when she's going to uh, send it over there. The, major, the current majority leader has said that he has no plans to take it up within the next nine days. Uh, and so that would leave it up to uh, Schumer whenever he becomes 
um, majority leader on when that would happen. And so I'm sure that there will be some discussions that will take place. Um, but uh, again, I hope the impeachment process is, is finished. We've done our part in the House, and I hope that ultimately we do it in the Senate, and that is done uh, quickly, uh, and that uh, justice is served for all of those people uh, who had to be uh, put on gas masks, who lost their lives, police officers that were assaulted with, with flagpoles, uh, just everything uh, terrible that, that, that happened there, this president played a role in. I hope that the impeachment process uh, is, is served uh, because I think that's the only way that we'll have justice in, in this. Uh, what concerns, if any, do you have that the impeachment and a, a trial, whenever that will happen in the Senate, would uh, damage or impact negatively on the Biden presidency as far as you know, uh, people in the country trying to come together Congress trying to come together? I don't think that it's going to impact the Biden presidency whatsoever. He's going to have a very you know, robust 100 days. Uh, I think that he's going to put forward a lot of uh, issues that the American uh, public have been you know, clamoring to, to see handled over the last four years that just never got done, like an infrastructure bill, like immigration reform, like justice and policing bill. Uh, and, um, and, and then of course, uh, you know, more clear and concise and uh, affirmative action on COVID. And so uh, I think that uh, the American public uh, is going to like what Joe Biden says. I don't think that that how this concludes is going to play into his presidency at all. Uh, I did read somewhere that uh, House Democrats were considering waiting until after the first 100 days of the Biden presidency. presidency. Um, is that something you agree with, or do you think that the article should be sent over as quickly as possible regardless? We'll have caucus meetings uh, that will pro we'll probably have caucus meeting this week. I'm sure, I'm certain that we'll have one next week. And we'll have a chance to discuss that and sort of be able to, you know, come to an agreement on, on, on how we think, uh, you know, everything should play out. I'm sure there, that people have different opinions on that. I'm sure that the, that the speaker... Uh, you know, uh, has her uh, opinion on, and, and she will lay out exactly how she thinks that we're supposed to proceed, uh, and we'll be able to go from there. I think it's just too early to, to, to say now until we, you know, get a better sense from our caucus. And uh, my last question to you, Congressman, and again, appreciate the time. Uh, tonight, President Trump, the White House, released a new video of the president uh, saying on camera, basically urging against violence and vandalism and lawbreaking uh, and, and trying to calm everybody. Uh, your thoughts on that? Um, you know, I, I'm too little too late as far as, you know, impeachment is concerned. He should have said that before that crowd came to Washington, D.C. He should have, you know, said that he was going to go along with the peaceful exchange of power that happens every time. I'm sure that Jimmy Carter didn't like, like that he lost, uh, but he's a, you know, a man of God and he didn't you know, turn to violence. Uh, I'm sure that George H.W. Bush didn't like uh, that he lost. Uh, he didn't, you know, turn to that, you know, sort of violence. Um, I think that, uh, you know, again, that the that this president uh, is just is a poor decision maker. Uh, and now, you know, the things that that he is saying, I think, is you know, magnanimous at best. Uh, he doesn't really mean it. He's not sincere. I mean, he made it clear that he. Uh, he actually regretted that he put the video out that he did telling people to go home and that they needed to stop and that he thought that was too far. So, you know, no one goes from, you know, that sort of, uh, uh, you know, those sorts of words to the posture that he's in today and thinks that anyone's going to take him uh, sincerely. I think that he's just doing this because, you know, maybe now he's sobering up that this is not, you know, some joke and that this is real. Uh, and that he's going down in history as only the as the only president to ever be uh, impeached twice, and the only president to ever be impeached uh, with this large of a bipartisan vote. North Texas Congressman Mark Vesey, thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate it. Stay healthy and safe. Thanks, Jack.